Alrighty, so I figured I'd make this video for one of the 10 users that observed one of my uh, clips on YouTube, which I usually make strictly for uh, private use, but I leave them public so that um, so my friends can view them when at their leisure. Um, I, they commented in regards to the uh, internal cockpit livery I have that makes the MiG-29 controls and cockpit in English instead of in Russian. Um, I do not believe that there is a default method of doing this. However, if there is, it would just be in the settings special menu. Select the uh, individual module if you purchased it in single form or FC3, and then the cockpit settings are here, although they uh, usually appear as default, uh, so I am told. However, uh, I have a couple of uh, different internal liveries. Um, this one may be default, but I doubt it. It's probably part of a different mod I installed. Um, so to get these uh, available, it's very simple. If you've already installed external liveries, then it's a simple process. That's one extra step on top of that. <clears throat> However, I'll go over both real fast because they're essentially the same thing with that one step difference. So uh, what you're going to do first is uh, you're going to go and to, um, uh, let's see, uh, your browser of choice, and you're going to open up the DCS Combat Simulator uh, .com website. Um, so I already have the mod pulled up, but essentially you would just search the mod you want, or if you want to browse mods, go to downloads under user files, and then there's a method of uh, browsing all the mods available on DCS and or, and or liveries. So you're going to install that or download it. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to open it in your downloads folder, which I already have um, opened up. Let's see. So it's right here. You're going to extract that, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate just in case. Um, so you're going to Double click on this, have a uh, zip7 um, unzipping uh, tool, and you're going to extract it to the downloads folder or wherever you'd like, but you know, downloads is just fine for me. Uh, now that it's extracted, um, I have this file, and then I have a liveries file. So this is actually the file that you would use to um, place all of your external liveries as well as internal liveries in the game. And uh, if you've done this before, you will have created this file uh, either by dragging a, a file that uh, merged it into that file path or by uh, manually creating the file. And its location would be, um, let's see, in your um, user file location. So for me, it's SSDC, users, that's me, go to save games, DCS open beta, or if DCS, if that's your um, method of play, then you go to the, the liveries folder, or you create the liveries folder if you have none in this menu right here. There is the file path if anyone is curious. Um, and then once it's open, you'll need to create the individual module name exactly as it is stated in the game or um, in the file path of the game's core files, which I will show you the location of as well, just in case if you needed like, some questions answered, and then you can drag your liveries there. However, the difference is that uh, while the external liveries have only the exact name of the module for the file path, um, so the A102C, and then you can just drop them right in here and the file for a livery will look like this. It'll just be a file with a name and when you open it up you'll immediately get a series of textures and then um, a commandable description text. Don't open this unless you're using uh, Notepad++. You don't want to corrupt any of this file because it, it allows the uh, mesh to be applied to the module. Um, there we go. And then for cockpits, this is the difference in step, is that you need to have the exact file name of the module, but you need to put cockpit with capital C underscore before that. Um, a lot of the internal cockpit uh, user files do not specify this, and so you'll fuck around with it for a while, uh, pardon my language, and uh, be unable to determine uh, you're supposed to get it going. But that's how you do it. You have to create this file. Um, some of them already have it internally. Um, and see yeah so there is the file right there open it up you can see the textures and the description all right so put that to the side and uh that's more or less it so once you have it downloaded you would just um if you have the live or do not have the liveries folder you would just drag the liveries folder over to this file uh, menu and if you do have the liveries folder you just go into the liveries folder um, create your cockpit if you do not have it your cockpit file uh, and then drag um, the cockpit um, uh, livery into that file however this uh, user file already has 
all three of them. So you could just copy and paste this into the Libre file. So all three of these right here already has those file paths and named out. And once those are installed, you can go back to DCS, reopen it. Um, you'll need to close it, obviously, and then reopen it. And then you can go back to this menu, and they'll be available. Uh, there are different cockpits for different other planes as well. So if you want to get something else, that is how you would do it. I hope that was useful, and uh, have a good one.